Are you creating content with the Apple Vision Pro and wanting to demo it or maybe just show off the things that you're seeing but you're not getting a high resolution video? I have a process for you that'll make this much better. So what you're gonna wanna do is use Xcode and you wanna go ahead and open up a new project or create a new project, something like that. Uh, and you can see here, I just have a sample project and you'll see my content view and everything. And, and what you wanna go ahead and do is you wanna go over here to, to devices and you're gonna to wanna to add your Vision Pro. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna put on the Vision Pro and you're gonna connect it to your computer. Okay, so now you're in the Vision Pro, you wanna go ahead and go to settings, and then you're gonna to wanna to go to general. You're gonna to wanna to go ahead and scroll down to remote devices. Go back into Xcode here. You're gonna, now you should see the Apple Vision Pro under discovered. So you go ahead and select the Apple Vision Pro, click pair, and then you wanna go ahead and enter that code and click connect. So now I should see that as a remote device, if I come over here to Xcode. So now what you wanna do is you wanna go ahead and go back into the Vision Pro, go to settings, go to privacy and security, scroll all the way down to the bottom, click developer mode and enable developer mode. I'll go ahead and open up Xcode again. Okay, so now I should be able to load my profile and I'm gonna head and register the device with my account and we should be good to go. So now I should be able to build my project and see it on the Apple Vision Pro. And you'll see here that I have a working project, but that's not really the purpose here. Okay, so now that we see the project running, if I go over here to Xcode and I go to Developer Tools and I open Reality Composer Pro. So after Reality Composer Pro is open, if I go to File, Developer Capture, and I click here, after this countdown's complete, I should get a recording. Now, if I'm, you see the code and you see everything that I'm working with here, it should look a lot better uh, visually. And you should actually, it should look 4K like I'm seeing. You know, you are limited to that one minute timer. So, you know, you couldn't make a really extended tutorial or anything like that. You know, I now actually can show kind of what I'm working on in this project. So this is great for people that want to do tutorials and actually show working in the Apple Vision Pro. And then what's cool here is when you stop the recording or it ends after that minute timer, it will actually automatically transfer it from the device directly to your Mac so you can use it in your project. And this is why this recording mode is so much better if you're doing any sort of graphics or text or anything like that. You wanna make sure that it looks the best. So hopefully this was helpful. And if you have any questions, definitely leave a comment below.